In this video, I'm going to show you how you can round the corners of your videos in After Effects. There are multiple ways to do that, but we'll focus on two methods. Let's import our media footage into the timeline. I'll be using this video right here. Let me scale it down so you can see the corners. I'm also going to rename the composition to Main Comp. The first method is going to the Effects and Presets panel and search for Rough and Edges. Go ahead and apply this effect, change the edge type to Cut, Edge Sharpness to 10, and Fractal Influence to 0. And now, when we change the value of the border, the corners become rounded. If we zoom in, we can see that the edge is pretty soft. If you want to modify that, change the scale to 1000, that's going to make it sharp. We notice that we're pretty limited because I can't go any further with the border value. If you want to make it even rounder, you can use Command D to duplicate the rough and edges effect. That's going to work up to a point though, so this is why I'm going to show you another method. Let's hide this effect. I'll select fit for the view so I can see the whole video again. Now what you have to do first is right click on the video layer, go to pre-compose and choose this option. Leave all attributes in main comp. When we open the new composition, we can see that the video is taking the whole frame. That's exactly what we want. Now make sure you don't have any layers selected, so click anywhere else to deselect them and go to the rectangle tool. This is the important part. Double click on the rectangle tool. That is going to create a rectangle that is exactly the same size as the composition. Make sure the stroke is set to zero and go to the rectangle properties, then the rectangle path, and here change the value of the roundness property. We can see how the corners are being adjusted. After that, it's time to hide the shape layer, select the video layer, and change the track mat. If you don't see it, click on this button to toggle modes. Now change track mat to the shape layer. So basically the shape layer is going to act like a mask now. And if we change the roundness, we can see how that affects the video. Going back to the main composition, we can make further adjustments to the video. If you want to continue learning, check out this video on the screen that YouTube is recommending for you. Thank you and see you in the next one. This is Creative Society.